Hello and welcome to this new course in which I will teach you how you can use your Arduino's internal memory EEP ROM and how you can add extra memory to permanently store data with your Arduino. Now, as most of you know, storing data on Arduino is a very easy process. But when you want to store data that you need to keep even when power is lost, this is a different story. In this case, you will have to use a type of memory called EEP ROM. And we are going to explain this type of memory in this course. And this memory provides a very nice capability to your Arduino, which is storing data even if power is lost. Some Arduino boards allow you to permanently store data in their EEP ROM without having to keep the board plugged in. This course will teach you how to write to the onboard EEP ROM if your Arduino board has one, and we will also introduce you to an alternative way or method which allows you to use external EEP ROM memory and connect it with your current Arduino board. Now you can use this course for any microcontroller that supports communicating over the I square C pass. Now let's talk about what you will learn in this course. First, we'll talk about how to download and install the required software for coding and for circuit simulation of the Arduino board. Then we will talk about the supported Arduino boards so that you can have one or make sure that the one you have is supported or not. And if it is not supported, you shouldn't worry. There is a section in this course where, where we will introduce you to a way that you can use to interface your Arduino board that doesn't have EEP ROM to an external EEP ROM IC. Then I will teach you how to interface the built-in EEP ROM and we will take a quick coding example and a practical implementation for this method. After that, we will cover how to use an external EEP ROM and we will talk about a specific IC that we are going to use. There are a lot of alternatives. They, are, they come in a very cheap category and you can purchase them anywhere. That's it for the introduction. I'm sure that you will enjoy this course material. See you inside.